We all know that roots take up nutrients, but what about the rest of the plant? You might be surprised to know that foliar-applied fertilisers are taken up by the plant at a quicker rate than soil-applied fertilisers. Now, how does that happen? Leaves are not totally solid. They have a number of layers which allow nutrients to pass through, as well as tiny holes called stomates, which are generally found on the back of the leaf, that open and close, allowing moisture to leave and cool the plant, which explains why standing under a tree in summer feels cool, not just because of the shade, but because of the water the tree is transpiring through its stomates to maintain its health. So what are the advantages of foliar feeding? Well, we've already mentioned that it has a quicker take up than going, say, through the roots. And studies have shown that foliar fed nutrients pass through a plant at a rate of around 30 centimetres an hour. Now, that's astounding. Other areas where foliar feeding is important is, say, areas of high rainfall where nutrients can get leached in sandy soil or washed away in clay. So you really need to top up. Can you foliar feed any plant? Well, the answer is generally yes. Always go for a soluble plant food that's of good quality. One that does flowers, fruit, veggies and pot plants covers pretty well all the bases. It'll keep the blooms going well, mature the fruit and keep that foliage beautiful and lush. Selecting the right fertiliser for the right plant is not a problem. Just remember to apply at the manufacturer's recommendation. When using a sprayer, half fill with water, first then add the fertiliser and top up to 80% capacity. This leaves enough air in the sprayer to compress the liquid and get a better pressure and a better spray. Now you've got to spray evenly over the entire tree, including the trunks, branches, fruit and, of course, under the leaves where the absorption rate is the highest. Foliar sprays are always taken up better when the leaves are healthy. Poor or sick plants are unlikely to get much benefit from feeding this way. And when you finish spraying, always rinse out the sprayer well, including jetting fresh water through the nozzle. Turn it upside down to dry out and store away afterwards. Fertilisers with fast acting and quickly absorbed nutrients work well both through the leaves and the roots. Now you don't always have to spray them on, you can use a watering can or a hose applicator, but for a fast result, then a foliar feed will do the trick.